So today I'm going to be making a short video about what variables are. Now variables are a very fundamental part of any kind of coding language. You'll always find variables no matter where you go with uh, coding. And Roblox Studio is no different. Now the way coding languages declare variables may be different, but they all, like I said, are the same. The reason I'm making this video though is because I've found out that a lot of you don't actually really know the basics of Roblox Studio or coding at all. But I thought I'll make a short little video on what variables are. They're used all the time in every script and they're very useful. So firstly I'm going to explain to you what a variable is. A variable is basically a storage container for other stuff. So you know how you kind of have a box and say you want to put a bunch of toys in there and then you wrap that up and name it. That's kind of what a variable is. So to show you I'm going to show you how to declare a variable. So first off we're going to say local. This makes it so that the script knows that we're making a variable. So next is the name of the variable. So for this, we're just going to name it message. Next, we need to assign this variable a value. So we can make it equal to a string, which are between these quotation marks here. And I'll just put like and subscribe. And that's it. You made a variable. Now I'm going to show you what you can do with variables. You can actually print this message here. If you just put print and then parentheses message and as you can see it says like and subscribe here in the output now mind you with this print we didn't actually put like and subscribe but we set our variable equal to like and subscribe so they're basically the same thing to show you better i'm going to show you what i would actually make a variable for in roblox studio most of the time so usually i'll get a variable like billy because we've got our billy over here so i'm gonna get a variable for billy the local billy is equal to and in the workspace here we have everything that you can see so as you can see, Billy is in the workspace. So of course we can see Billy. So we need to go workspace. So we need to go through the workspace and down to Billy dot Billy. And that's it for your variable. So instead of doing workspace dot Billy every time, we can just do Billy. And these two are the same thing now. You can also make true or false values. These are called Booleans. So you can make a Boolean equal to true or you can make a Boolean equal to false. You can put numbers. Number is equal to 0.5 or negative 20 or 15 anyway that's it i really just wanted to make a short video showing you guys how to use variables let me know of any other tutorials you want me to make and i will see you turtles in the next video see ya